Yo, hey everybody, in this video I'm going to explain what broadcasting is in NumPy. Broadcasting allows NumPy to perform operations on arrays with different shapes. Between two or more arrays, NumPy will virtually expand dimensions so that the smaller array matches the larger array in shape. There's a couple of rules when it comes to broadcasting. Two arrays are compatible. When matching each dimension, either the dimensions need the same size, or one of the dimensions has a size of one. Let me give you a demonstration. We'll create two arrays. We'll have array one equals np.array. This will be a 2D array, a 2D array with just a single row. I'll add the numbers one, two, three, four. That's good enough. Then we'll create a second 2D array, array, 2 equals mp dot array. This will be a 2D array. This 2D array will have four rows, but one column. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll print array 1, access its shape attribute. And we'll do the same thing with array 2. Print array 2 dot shape. Taking a look at the shape of these arrays, can we broadcast them? Well, we have to follow those two rules. When matching the dimensions, they either need to be the same number, or one of them has a value of 1. We read these dimensions from right to left. These dimensions don't match, but one of them is a 1. These dimensions are compatible. With the next set of dimensions, these dimensions don't match, but one of them is a 1, so we can broadcast them. Let's test it. I'm going to print, I'll print array 1 times array 2. And there we go. We have a 2D array. Now the shape is a 4x4 four four now. We have 4 rows and 4 columns. We're virtually expanding the dimensions of our arrays. Let's say there's a mismatch between the dimensions. For example, for the number of rows for our first array, I'll change that to be 2. We'll add a second row. I'll add the numbers 5, 6, 7, 8, and let's see what happens. We get a value error. Operands could not be broadcast together with shapes 2, 4 and 4, 1. We could not broadcast these arrays together. We have a mismatch. The number of columns are broadcastable either because these numbers match, which they don't, or one of them is a 1. These dimensions are OK. For the number of rows, these dimensions don't match and neither of them is a 1. So we can't broadcast these two arrays. They're incompatible. They don't follow those two rules. If the number of rows were 4 for our first array, we could broadcast them then. We'll add a few more values. And one more row. These should not be compatible. We can broadcast them together. For each of these dimensions, they either match or one of them is a 1. For the number of columns, one of them is a 1. And for the rows, they both match. We can broadcast these two arrays together. Now for array 2, let's change the number of columns from 1 to 2. I'll just add in a few numbers. Now we can no longer broadcast these arrays. For the number of columns, they no longer match, and neither of them is a 1. But the number of rows still match. Those are compatible. So with broadcasting arrays, we can virtually expand their dimensions. Now for an exercise, we'll create a multiplication table via broadcasting. We'll say array1 equals mp.array. We'll create a two-dimensional array, but it's going to have only one row, the numbers 1 through 10. Then for array 2, for our second array, this will be a 2D array, but it's going to have 10 rows and a single column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we'll add the numbers 1 through 10. Let's 
Let's see if they're compatible with broadcasting. I will print the shape of each array. Print array one dot shape and array two dot shape. Array two dot shape. For the number of columns, they're compatible. They either match or one of them is a one. For the number of rows, they are compatible. They either match or one of them is a one. So we can broadcast them. Let's print array one times array two. And we should get a multiplication table with the numbers between one through 10. The shape of this array that we have virtually created, it's a 10 by 10, 10 rows, 10 columns. So that's broadcasting. Broadcasting allows NumPy to perform operations on arrays with different shapes by virtually expanding their dimensions. I couldn't think of any homework for you to do, so why don't you comment down below what one of your favorite video games is. And well everybody, that is Broadcasting in NumPy.